الله أكبر South Sudan and Somalia lobby for lifting of UN arms embargo. A frequent relapse into violence coupled with inability to provide adequate security for civilians are combining to delay Somalia and South Sudanese bids to have their respective arms embargoes dropped. For years, the UN Security Council has been running parallel regimes of sanctions on East Africa's most troubled countries, Somalia, which has been struggling to defeat Al-Shabaab in the south of the country and, Sudan, and South Sudan, which has been torn apart by various armed groups. For South Sudan, frequent crashes between splintered armed groups fueled extension of an armed embargo last year. Next month, the embargo on South Sudan will be up for review again and Juba, just like Mogadishu, hopes to have the ban lifted. Juba is uh, choosing to lobby behind the scenes to members of the UN Security Council while Somalia is publicly calling for the lifting. Last week, uh, the African Union Peace and Security Council said the UN should have considered Somalia's repeated request to be fled from the ban. The council, which deals with Africa's security threats, said Somalia's embargo should be lifted to ensure that the country is sufficiently equipped to eff effectively address the security threats posed by Al-Shabaab and other terrorist groups active in Somalia as it prepares to take over security responsibilities from Artemis at the end of the transition by 31st December 2024. Artemis, the African, uh, the African Union transition mission in Somalia, has a two-year drone-down program to have over security duties to Somalian security forces. Stage. 